uh, percussion concert. Um, there's some kind of a concert, percussion concert. And, uh, there's this drummer, percussion man, and he is doing the concert. And he invites me to be the second musician. And um, his instrument is a set of a couple of drumsticks. I don't know, he doesn't have a drum even. And uh, he gives me another set of drumsticks, two drumsticks, and uh, that's. And then there's this audience out there, a big audience of people waiting to see the concert. And uh, I'm feeling kind of amazed uh, that this guy's going to do the concert with just two drumsticks and uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do either. He didn't tell me what to do. And I don't know how to play the drums anyway. So, um, kind of a, a, a weird experience. I'm not too worried about it because it's like his show, you know, it's not my show. And, uh, and that's it. That's the whole dream. Oh, then at the end of the dream, uh, end of the concert, the concert's a great success. Everybody loves it. And um, then at the end of the dream, I ask him, um, well, uh, how, do, what's your, how do you do this? What's your technique? Uh, how do you, what's your system? And uh, he, he tells me to look at some book, some kind of like strange uh, Zen type book that I can't make much sense out of anyway. So that's the whole dream, very short image. I don't know if it's going to go anywhere or not, but just do it. Just for the halibut, as I, for the halibut, H-A-L-I-B-U-T, halibut. Okay, so um, how do you start? Well, usual formula is to start with the environment, all right? The environment is this big concert hall, and there's an audience there, and there's the show. So I am this concert hall. I am this big concert hall loaded with people. And there are these two tiny little musicians up there supposed to entertain all these people here inside of me. That's, just, that's the environment. So there's a concert hall. All right, I'm a concert hall inside the audience and the people. And there's musicians up there. So I'm looking at this thing happening inside of me. And no, nothing special, just a concert in there. It's kind of uh, strange that these two guys up there with just two drum, two sets of drumsticks are going to entertain the audience. But I'm the I'm the uh, environment here. This concert hall. I'm just I'm a concert hall. I'm a big big empty space. Okay, now that's a powerful idea. I'm a big empty space, and there's something happening deep down there inside of me. Something happening down there inside of me, and it's so far it doesn't affect me very much. So far it doesn't affect me very much. Ah, right away get association to relationships with some women I'm meeting lately. And um, you know from the from these uh, websites to meet people. And a lot of yak yak going on some encounters, meetings, and it's supposed to, it's going on weeks, couple, even a month already, a few meetings here and there, but doesn't, it's not really affecting me so much. Like down deep down inside, not really affecting me so much. Seems like uh, one, one of these ladies starts talking about love and and marriage, and uh, we talk about those things, but uh, somehow it's far away still. That's kind of a sense of something happening, but it, it, inside. But uh, I mean, even if it's a physical turn on, still emotionally, not much, not much in a strong connection like my ex-wife. You know that that thing went on a long time. That's much more of a connection deep down or whatever. 
Okay, so there's an association to that, to being this uh, environment, like a distant, uh, distantly related to uh, what's going on down there on the emotional level. All right. I'm the audience. I'm inside this big environment, this big hall. I'm sitting, we're sitting here nice and comfortable. We're expecting to see a show. We paid money to see a show and uh, I just, all I see is two musicians up there. I, I see two, four drumsticks, two, two, this guy's got two and that guy's got two. Where's all the razzmatazz? Where's all the junk? Where's all the machinery to entertain us? Nothing there, just these two guys. They're not even dressed in tuxedos. Maybe I'm being ripped off here. I'm sitting here in this uh, big fancy concert hall, paid money to see this concert. What kind of concert is it? Now I'm listening. I hear drumsticks. I hear, I hear maybe he's, maybe he's uh, rattling on a table or something. Kind of a piece of wood he's got up there. And he had ting, 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 Oh, very intricate noise. Yeah, pretty impressive, actually. Hey, yeah, wow. All those patterns. How do they do that? How do they do that? The other guy doesn't understand either, but uh, the, this main guy, this main musician, is really some kind of wizard with rhythm. And all he's doing is just drumsticks. I mean, not, not like, doesn't even have a drum. It's just drumsticks. Well, that's pretty impressive. Okay, so uh, maybe I'll get my money's worth after all. Just stick around. Concert goes on and on. All right. Now I'm the main musician here. I am this drummer. The head musician. I got my drumsticks. And I am damn sure that this is going to work. But it always works for me. I'm such a good musician. I am absolutely, totally confident that I could do this. All I need is a drumsticks. I don't even need a drum. I get this stooge over here to accompany me, and, and we do it. So, ready, stooge? All right, ready. Here we go. I'll start. And I'm looking out there, and everybody's amazed what I'm doing. And for me, it's so easy, just like sitting here and, you know, like burping or something simple. <laughs> Intricate rhythms. And for me, it just comes right out, nothing special. All right. So I'm enjoying the sense of power. I have to control this audience. And, uh, I, I do what's easy and everybody's amazed. I do what's easy and you're all amazed. How can I associate to that? How can I associate to that? I, childhood image, me as musician from childhood uh, doing what's easy and uh, I think back of different situations and people that stand there are amazed that I did it. And to me, it was natural to do it. it. Just comes out, and people are amazed. Could be a could be a klezmer concert with my trombone. Could be a concert. I'm thinking of a, in high school. I did something with four trombones. I put, orchestrated something or other. I took off a record. I get a medal for best musician in the high school. And uh, then I write a thing for, for orchestra and dancers in uh, Indiana. Soprano. And then I do these 
shows. For me, it's pretty easy stuff and uh, get a sense of satisfaction out of it. All right, nothing to very heavy here. Just a feeling of well-being, being able to do something, being able to having a knack. I got a knack. I got a knack. Well, maybe it's going to get religious. Maybe it's a gift. So I'm supposed to say, thank you, God, for my gift. Thank you, God, for the gift. And God says, we've got to bring in God now? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, God, what do you have to say about this concert here? Well, Wapner, you should be grateful to me that uh, I gave you this ability, for a while anyway, but you know, you're 70 years old, and you're going to be 70 years old another month or two, so how much longer you'll be able to do that stuff, I don't know. But in the meantime, I gave you this gift. And it's a good thing you uh, walked out of medical school when you were 20 years old, so you had time to use the gift. If you had stayed in there, been a good boy, filled your head with science and uh, everything, then you wouldn't have got the gift. You got, had the gift, but you didn't use it. Maybe you had a different gift. You could have helped people, but this is a more personal gift. This is like me and you, just me and you, Franklin. Just me and you, making music together. And you did something, you got sidetracked with all kinds of writing and other things. But look, I'm, that's not the only gift you gave me. You gave me other gifts to write and everything. All right, so, good. Well, you're, you did a good job. You're doing a good job. You're using your gifts. I gave you gifts and you used your gifts. Okay, thanks. But how much longer can I use my gifts? Well, ta ha ha, not gonna tell you. Here today, gone tomorrow. That's the human situation, right? One day you're here, you got it, next minute you're gone and you don't got it. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Maybe I should pray, will that do any good? I, uh, pray, I don't know. Well, it seems kind of far away. Me and you, it, it's kind of like that concert hall here. You know, the audience, it's on the concert hall then the deep down feelings are far away. And if I'm God and you, well, also the prayer thing is far away. Somehow there's something, a bigger pic, a more important connection than just the yak, yak, yak and the, and the prayer business or, I don't know, or even the feelings and the relationships. There's something, something more important that life is about than uh, those kind of things. So what is it if it's not God and if it's not feelings, and what is it? What's going on here? It's life, 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 life. Life is the issue. Life is the union. Time, life. Whoops, I hear a noise. Car in the car outside. So it's about life. The life force. What is it comes to mind now? Association, uh, ah, the great name of God. Is, it, is greater than all the different, uh, all the different uh, yak yak yaks and all the different uh, namings and all the different uh, praises and everything. Somehow the great name of God that's unfolding all the time, that's, that's sort of the, the package over a big envelope is, uh, is more important than any of these attempts to conceptualize it and and experience it or whatever. Somehow the, the big experience is, is somehow there and that's very difficult to approach, even conceive of. Difficult to conceive of. I'm not getting too close to it, am I here? <laughs> 